Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Bay Area, San Jose, California. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Here we go, just moments away from this preseason tilt. Ray, what's going through your mind as a player that's kind of on that cut line right now? Well, this is nervous time now. The games you really are very important for you. You've already worked your way through the beginning of camp where there's so many players. Now you're competing against very few, and the margin is very slim. Two teams looking start for a win, and we are set to go. The Sharks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And that puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Balsers. Excellent stick work on the play. Sends it over to Larson. Seattle's across the blue line. San Jose's got the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Keeps possession on the play. Moves it quickly over to Giordano. Receives the pass. Tried to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. And that's deflected. Rips it and rips it, and it's in the back of the net. Oh, this was quick. Hard to believe the game can change so quickly. An early score, and it is something that nobody quite expected. Hey, sometimes you just can't keep up to the puck. That thing is zipped by the goaltender and into the net. Seattle's got the game's first goal, and it didn't take long. They wanted to attack quickly, and now that they're on the road and they've got the lead, they can dictate the pace. Giordano's able to steady his team defensively and still contribute points. Hamilton's heat-seeker zone ability means he's good at shooting those long-range wristers on target. I'm expecting one of these players to make a big difference for their team before the game is over. Back to you guys. Here's a short pass to Balsers. Saucer feed. Big save. Loose puck battle along the boards. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Seattle's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Great heads-up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Picked off by McCann. And that's a great heads up in the defensive zone to force the turnover. Great poke by Kidd. Moves the puck behind the net. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Turned aside with a glove by Decord. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Kelman's won the draw here in the offensive zone. With the stop. The court's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Kidd's certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. McCann's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. And now he moves it to Kidd. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, he tried to put the puck around the defender there. Really nice move. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Seattle sliding the puck behind the net. And he makes the save on that play. And that doesn't exactly go take to take. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. San Jose's got it in their own zone. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Gets it over to Pulsers. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Great read with the stick. Quick pass to McCann. Seattle's got it into the offensive zone. Shot! 
scores! You get one, you get hungry for a second one. Even if you're not a goal scorer, you get that early. Now you want to hunt for a second goal. Makes it a double on the play. Whoa, James, while we're looking at this highlight, the coach is sour that they gave up this man advantage break. But it's beautifully executed, and it's in the net. Past the halfway mark of this period, Seattle's been showing relentless pressure lately, now up by three. Centers gliding up to the face-off dots here. McCann's won it. Moves it to Kidd. Feeds the puck to Flurry. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kelman. Fires it into the offensive zone. Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass at center. Drives to the paint. Quick feed to Donskoy. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Point-to-point -point pass. San Jose's gained possession. Here's a chance. Oh, off the outside of the frame. The Sharks are working at least. They're trying to close this big deficit. But this shot hits the post and stays out. Alexiak's moving the puck through his own zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Yeah, the officials didn't like that. The arms are in the air. Let's get the call here. They're calling slashing on the play, Ray. Penalty of frustration in a lot of cases. The Sharks once again send out their power play unit. Power plays are going to go up and down. You're going to be successful some nights and others not so much. This is a great opportunity for them right now. The power play is here, and they've got to capitalize. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. The Sharks played along the wing. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Gambrell. Let's it go. Gets in front of it. Handles the puck. They've got some momentum here. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Here in the late goings of the period, 3-0 is the score. The Sharks win the draw. got the puck against the boards. Delayed penalty coming up here. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. And the whistle stops the play. And someone's off to the box. The Kraken have found themselves undermanned. Interference the call. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. Another chance here on the man advantage. Gambrell's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Seattle's got possession here in their own end. And they clear that puck. From the place 99 made famous. Puck is frozen and we get a stoppage in play. ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And there's the horn mercifully bringing this first period to an end. If you'd like to rub shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next charity event.
Both teams had a chance to recharge. And the official set to drop the puck here on period number two. I like this by the coach here, James. He's gone to his youngest player, the rookie, and he's reminding him to play safe at this time of the game. You got the lead. You don't necessarily need another goal. You don't need turnovers. And as I tell my kids, Razor, safety never takes a holiday. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It has been a one-sided affair. 3-0 is where we sit. Hurdles won the draw. Slides the puck over. The Sharks get a hold of it. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. McCann's taking it from his own end. And takes a tour out of the offensive end to find some space at center. Dunskoy's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Official signals for the players to get into position and we're about ready to drop the puck. The Sharks win the faceoff. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. And they won't connect on that one. Moves the puck up to Nieto. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. And that's picked off. And that's off a stick. The Sharks have it now. And now it's over to Hamilton. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by McCann. Moves into the slot. Oh, they do it again. Now yeah, he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Seattle's got it from behind the net. Plays the puck up ahead. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Maintains possession. Jones gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. We're still in the early stages of this period. Seattle's on easy street right now. They lead at 3-0. More than half the period left to play. And the ice has been tilted to this point. 3-0 is where we sit right now. Seattle's got it in the offensive zone. Puck set across the blue line. Nowhere for that shot to go through. A chance in front, and they can't convert to the play. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. We'll get a face-off, and some lucky fan gets a memory of a lifetime. Whoa, James, I'll tell you, I was on the receiving end of those, not on the giving end. Those hurt. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Face-off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Quick pass to Donskoy. Sends the pass over. The Sharks gain control of the puck. Blitfeld's gaining momentum. And that's knocked away. Grabbed along the board by Kidd. The Sharks gain possession. Dives down low to block it. Kidd's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Donskoy. Hangs onto the puck. Stones him in front. Jones needs to be better. He knows that. And while he makes a good save there, both he and the team haven't been very sharp. Look out. Here they come on the attack. And makes the save. Jones is on top of the puck, stopping the play. Looks like he's seen enough. The potential to start running around in your zone causes him to cover the puck up. Sends it ahead to Pulsers. Great heads-up play in the neutral zone by Quinville. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. He's got great hands, and I understand why he wants to try that, but James, I think a simpler play is the right one. Sent into the offensive zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. The Kraken have the puck in the open ice. And time expires on the power play. Both teams back to even. Pass right in front. Moves it to Quinville. They score! 
Rangers. James, how many timeouts can you have? Because they need one now. They needed one before. And the way this is going, they're going to need one in a few minutes. Or they could use the ghost of Roger Nielsen to wave that white towel. When you much time to think about it. And they're going to change goalies. I'm not so sure the guy coming into the game is going to feel so excited. Their team has just been destroyed tonight. The Kraken have been on fire since the drop of the puck at the start of this game. If this was a boxing match, the towel would be coming flying out of the corner. This seems over. Across to Halla. The Sharks work it through center. Gambrell's got it to the side. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Moves the puck along the half wall. And that's broken up. Angles it over to Cambrell. Here's a shot from the boards. Oh, it serves up a little too sweet with that save. Quick feed to Kidd. Look out! Gets a piece of it with the trapper! Kidd's gonna play it from the back of the cage. Can't connect! Moves it quickly over to Kidd. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Nice zone entry from the left. Wait up front! And that one's broken up! Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Shot in front. Denies him. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Nieto. San Jose's got him along the wall. Here he is in close. Pushes it across to Kidd. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. Kidd's got the green light to try this move almost anywhere on the ice. There it is, the score! Johnny on the spot, he tucks in the rebound. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. The Sharks needed that one as they get back to center ice. They need a lot more than that. It's really been a poor performance by them so far. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Hey, fans, now is the time to pick up your team calendars. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? Seattle's focus now is just lock down this game. Comfortable lead. They've been terrific through 40 minutes. Don't give it away now. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. The Sharks have it in the offensive end. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. Into the offensive zone. Cuts to the paint. Oh, looked like he had the corner, but he puts it off the side of the net. Takes the feed. The Sharks are on the attack. Picked off in front. Pushes it across to McCann. On the attack along the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Scooped up along the wall by Larson. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. Moves it to Kidd. Cutting to the front of the net. He scores!
Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. The Kraken have been nearly flawless tonight. Fair to say there, Razor? This has been one of their best games. Certainly their best in the last couple of weeks. They've had the puck most of the time. They've got this huge lead that they're just going to cruise in with. Gains the zone through center. A shot! Shuts him down! Picked up along the wall by Carlson. Denies him again! The court's under fire, and he's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Yarncrocks won a big draw on their own end. From the left side, they gain the zone. Puts it on goal. Comes up with a stop. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. San Jose's got it across the line. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Time winding down here. One last chance with this man advantage. They've spent too much time going up and down the ice. they got to get it into the zone quickly. Seattle's going to play the puck from behind the cage. He scores! What a shot! The water bottle pops off the top of the net. That's a scorer's dream. These are fun goals to score. You read that the goaltender's dropping into the butterfly, and you know you're going top shelf. You beat them over the glove, it feels great. Seattle's lamp-lighting performance continues here with another goal in the third. They can walk home. They have dominated this third period. They've stretched the lead out into a really comfortable margin. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Kraken have it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by McCann. Quick feed to Halla. Great reach with the poke check. Taken along the wall by Donskoy. Dumps it into the Ozone. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Quick pass across to Kidd. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Kidd's moving it ahead. Pinned up along the boards. Great four check by Yarncroft. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Kraken have put on an impressive offensive display so far tonight here in the third. They've done anything that they've wanted to do. They on home. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And that pass is redirected. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. And that's knocked away by Alexiak. Yard court ready to go. Find some space in the corner. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. The court's going to hang on for a whistle. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Takes the feed from his own end. And now he angles it across to Camano. Moves inside! Poked away in the offensive zone by Camano. An easy save by Decord. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play.
McCann's won the faceoff. Dunn's lugging the puck. The Sharks have it now. And that one's blocked! Picked up along the boards by Kilman. Tees him up! What a stop! The court's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Locks him up on the draw as they take possession. Moves it quickly over to Donskoy. Here's a chance. And that's intercepted by Pulsers. And he slides it quickly to Hurdle. Just slide. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. And now he passes up to Kidd. It's a two-on-one. Feeds it over to Pulsers. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Quick pass to Pulsers. Oh, the thievery coming up with the puck on the play. Gains the zone through the middle. Here's a shot. Pad save. He's on it tonight. San Jose's in now. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's a shot. And there's a blocker stopped by Decorn. There's the whistle stopping the play. Now uh, you react, you go to get the puck, and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. The setters will glide into the dot. McCann's won it off the faceoff. And they continue to apply pressure here. Gets the puck over to Giordano. Pass across to Kidd. San Jose's got the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Moves it to Halla. Stopped by the goaltender. McCann's got the puck in his own zone. Slides it on over to Kidd. From the point, they take control of it. San Jose's looking to break out of their own end. The Kraken have it now. Puck scooped up by Kanisov. Taken by Yarncroft. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Sharks take it across the blue line. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. And it's a quick pass to Kidd. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Tosses it to Halla. The Sharks move it ahead. Here he is, wrists it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Looks to make a play over to Giordano. Slides the puck across to Kidd. Intercepts the pass at center. Shot! Too many bodies in the way. Seattle's got the puck in the defensive end. Through center along the wing. The Sharks have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Carlson. Slides it to Knizov. Sends a pass over. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. And now it's grabbed by Alexiak. Fails to find the open man. His reflex is on display tonight. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Right on the doorstep. And they can't connect. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. How scores! Right on the doorstep. He pounces off a rebound and puts it home. San Jose's back at center ice. They have a long way to go still here, though, Ray. Yeah, get your scores out there, James. Don't worry about the defensive end of the ice. You need goals. Final horn sounds, and we are all done with this one. Ray, I want to bring it back to that moment where the youngster really had an opportunity, made a great play, and seemed to respond. Is that kind of a direct result of the, the coach kind of pushing him on oh, that one? Oh, there's the gray area, James. The coach will say yes. The player will say no. I was getting going anyway. 
because you don't want to be known as a player that needs to kick in the pants all the time to get moving. But I, I think there was a clear difference between the way the, the kids started the game and the way he played after he was challenged by the coach. Hi everyone, welcome to Anaheim, California, here in the OC, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski for EA Sports. Just a few more games on this exhibition schedule, and you're starting to see this team come around a little bit here. Starting to form, starting to see that the edges are going to be rounded off here, and that your lines will look pretty familiar. There'll be some new players in the mix, but they're really down into the very important time of camp now. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Kraken have established possession here early. On the attack. Seattle's got the puck against the wall. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Into the attacking area from the left side. Quick feed to Gore. And no luck on that pass attempt. Moves it quickly over to Everly. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Gibson. The Ducks have it now. Quick pass to Shattenkirk. Tries to get the puck to Silverberg. Poked away in the offensive end. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Gains the zone. 
takes a shot. Oh, flashes the leather to get a piece of it. The Kraken, a quick one here, and look at this, the first goal of the game. Man, I don't even think anyone's really settled into the game yet. And already we have the game's first goal. A quick flick of the wrist, and that snapshot beats the goaltender. He's in the low slot. He doesn't have much time to think about it. The Kraken have been preaching quick start. Maybe not this quick, though. Why? Well, I mean, this is a gift, James. You always want to have your team playing well early, but to score this quickly and get out in front is really something that you can build upon. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Moves it to Terry. Can't get it to go. Makes the glove stop. Vanacek simply going to slow it down here. Ray, do you like the strategy? I do, but he hasn't touched the puck much this period, James, so you get to handle it a little bit here and Maybe a little nervous, so you jump on it and get to reset. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. McCann's won it in their own end. Puck battle along the boards. Dunn's voice up at the box. Let's it go. Stopped by Benicic. The Ducks come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Trying to connect the pass, but it doesn't go. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Tries to get it to Donskoy. Oh, look at this chance. Can't connect on the pass. Anaheim's in transition. Shattenkirk's got it against the boards. Tries to feed it over to McCann. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Fires the one-timer. And he stands tall in goal. McCann's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. The Ducks get a hold of the puck along the boards. With possession along the wall. Oh, serves up waffles for dinner with that stop. The Kraken have possession shorthanded. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Anaheim's got the puck behind the net. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Here's a short pass to Sanford. Takes the feed. And he comes up with it. Anaheim's got the puck. They score! And we're all tied up. What a little power in the power play. Not often you get an opportunity and your power play clicks looking so effective as this one just did. They talked about getting traffic to the net. They talked about building secondary options. They were doing that this morning at practice. It came to game time and they cash in. This game is tied. The power play was patient. They worked around until they found the best shot. But if they don't have that traffic in front of the net, it's not going to matter. The puck goes through the traffic, past the goalie, and they've got a power play goal. Slides it diagonally to Kidd. Anaheim's got the puck. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Up along the wing. Seattle's got the puck against the half wall. And that's broken up. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. The Kraken have possession along the boards. Here's a chance. Quick stop by Benicek. Oh, and that stays out with the toe save. From the right side, takes the pass. Puck picked up by Everly. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Giordano's got it in the defensive end. Puts it to the front of the net. Oh, and it stays out. I think he made a toe save on that one. From the left side, moves it up ahead. And they'll dump it in. 
Seattle's got the puck along the wall. Kidd's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Blocked in front. Cuts into the paint. Oh. Scores! The deadlock's broken. That's a big goal, and they put him into the lead. He kept moving in that high slot, looking for an area that might be open. Then the puck's on and off his stick. Nice shot. Well past the midway mark of this period. Seattle's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. And some good footwork to kick it away. Quick feed to Sanford. Takes the pass. Anaheim's on the attack. Drives it to the crease. Turn that chance aside. Kid stick handling in his own zone. Across the line from center. Moves it quickly over to Sanford. Great reach with the poke check by Giordano. Horn sounds bringing an end to what has been a pretty fun start to this one. All right, fans, time for tonight's Lucky Road giveaway. Congratulations to Section 107, Row F. Each fan receives a limited edition play. They're ready to drop the puck here on period number two. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro bringing you all the action. Anaheim's won the draw. Quick pass to Sanford. The Kraken have taken possession along the wall. Right to the middle. Can't get it to go. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Larson. And that's poked away. From center, they get into the attacking area. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Benicek. Benicek's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Seattle's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Ducks win it. Puck grab by Shattenkirk. Seattle's looking to break out. And now he tries to get it across to Kidd. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. Passes the puck over to Silverberg. Feeds it to Fowler. Moves it to Sanford. Stopped by the goaltender. Slides the puck to Gore. Seattle's ready to go on the attack. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Rocked him in the open ice. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Let's see what the officials are calling. Sanford's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go serve his minor penalty. The Kraken have gained possession off the wall. Seattle's moving it into the offensive end. In close! It scores! You get one, you want to think about a second one. It doesn't matter if you're at home or on the road, but you do this on the road, you feel a great accomplishment. And there's the one hat that he gets for scoring on the road. The power play cashes in. They move the puck around and get the puck right into the middle of the slot. He makes no mistake from there. Ray, give us a sense of what the strategy is here. 
Well, it's a strategy of caution, really, James. The coach wants him to be safe, to get the puck in deep, to protect this lead. And I found it interesting. He stopped at the creative rookie and told him the puck has to go forward. He might be a little nervous that the kid might try a risky play. The Kraken have made their way back to center ice. And what can you say about this performance? About perfect. I, I don't think I can find any fault with anything that they've done so far. Along the half wall with the puck. Oh, and that goes a ride. Man, they create the scoring chance, and it's a good one, but they don't get it on the net. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Great pressure to force the turnover by Gord. Terry's moving the puck through his own zone. Pass to Shattenkirk. He scores! Oh, with the goaltending on the other side, you're never dead. They're now down by two. Now coaches talk about getting to the front of the net, make it difficult on the goalie, take his eyes away. Man, he only can see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. The Ducks seem to have shaken off that funk here, Ray. They had to get going a lot better than they had earlier in this contest, now down by two. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Ducks can tell themselves there's still half a game or so left. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And now he moves it to Larson. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Oh, what a stick save! Vanacek's able to make the save look really easy. Now he doesn't have to deal with the rebound either. Puts it on net. Oh, what a great save by Vanacek! Grabbed a lot.
Kidd. Works it across to Gore. Sends it across. Denies them in close. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Feeds it on over to Terry. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And that pass can't connect. Looking to set up offensively. Takes a shot. And that banks off a stick. Scooped up along the wall by Kidd. Seattle's gained possession along the boards. Here's an opportunity. And that goes off a player. Picked up along the wall by Kidd. Great reach with the poke check. Nice zone entry from the right side. The Ducks will play it against the boards. Take it along the wall by Gord. Takes the bank feed. Anaheim's got the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Henrique. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Kidd. Well, that'll get a response. Oh, but it is pushing and shot. Yeah, it got heated up pretty quickly. And here we go. It's pretty clear, James, who had the upper hand. They were looking for a spark in this building, and this might provide it. They are pumped yeah. in here. Yeah, this crowd on fire now here in the arena. Well, the crowd's right back into this one after a pretty spirit and tilt just moments ago. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Seattle's got a two-goal cushion here. They lead it 5-3. The Ducks take possession off the faceoff. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. Picked up along the boards by Milano. Giordano's taking it from his own end. Quick pass over to Gore. And he's going after him here. Drysdale's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Great pressure with the stick. Down the right side and into the zone. Rister. Here in the later stages of this period, Seattle's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead at 5-3. Anaheim's won the faceoff. Puts it on net, and there's the save. Seattle's across the blue line. The Ducks look to start the transition game. The Kraken have gained control of the puck along the wall. Centering pass! And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Silverberg certainly in a confident state here. His point streak's extending, and he wants to keep it going. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. Seattle's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Things start to get a little physical out there. Nice pass. The Ducks play it along the boards. Here's a shot. Oh, what a big time stop by Benicek. Sanford's back to doing what he needs to do, and that's playing hockey. He's got to generate some chances. He had a five-minute rest there on his fighting penalty a little earlier. The Ducks win the faceoff. Quick shot. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. And nearing the final minute of the second. And he slides it quickly to Kidd. 
Tries to the crease. Way too much congestion blocks that. And they won't connect on that one. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. The Kraken have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Grabs it in his own end. Quick pass to Carrick. Now he slides it up to Sanford. A shot! Oh, great blocker stuff. Oh, off the crossbar! What a chance on the play! Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. Well, let's see what this third period can offer in what has been a score fest thus far. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Seattle's ahead in this high-chance, high-danger game. No use changing the way you're going to play now. To the front! Big save by the goaltender washing that one. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Tries to get it over to Shattenkirk. Moves right to the middle. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat it away. Vanacek's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Second look at a pretty good scoring chance here. I don't mind the shot. It's just the goalie's in position to stick it aside. Lots of time left in this period. 5-3 is where we sit. The Ducks win the draw. Oh, and a good opportunity right there. You don't get many chances. You want to finish them off, so he'll be a little frustrated as he heads back up ice. Here's a shot. Can't connect. You try to generate enough chances in a game that eventually you're going to punch through, but you got to get it on the net once you create the chance. Moves the puck. Can't get it to go. Grabbed along the board by Silverberg. Receives the pass. Handles the puck. Great puck check on the reach. Seattle's moving the puck through center ice. Everly's got it along the wing. And now it's over to Giordano. Takes the feed. Denies him with the pad. Oh, another consecutive stop. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Gibson's blocker comes into good use there. Good positioning and he's able to deflect it away. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. The Ducks win the draw. The Kraken have it on the attack. Whoa! He scores! Oh, a slick one-timer buries it. Ooh, lots to see in this replay, James. I mean, the turnover starts the whole sequence of events which ends up with this shot. Top bins over top of the goalie. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Takes it to the net. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that one's broken up. Through center along the wing. Nice dish from the left wing. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Moves it to Silverberg. The Kraken have the puck against the boards. Gord's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Kidd. Jabs the puck away. Slides it across to Carrick. Milano's got it along the boards. Takes a shot. Makes the save. 
Vanacek's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. Seattle's got a hold of the puck. Blocked in traffic. Scooped up along the wall by Milano. And that's picked off. Now a quick pass to Kidd. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Trying to gain a step. Stones him on the breakaway. Quick feed to Everly. Oh, and another save. He's like a backboard in there. Bang, bang, the puck's off him twice. He makes two stops. Snaps it on net. Big time stop. Seattle's got a hold of it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Everlane. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And he slides it quickly to Jones. Here's a shot. Love save made by Vanacek. What a wild offensive night this has been. The real crazy part is both teams are in on it. It's no runaway. Somebody is going to score a couple of goals before the end of this, and that's going to be the difference. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Gets the puck in deep. Scrum along the boards. And it's kicked away. And now it's to Susie. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Anaheim's got it against the boards. The Kraken have it in their own zone. Angles it over to Eberle. All alone! Oh, he keeps it out with a great reactionary stop at the toe. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Here's a chance. That's off a stick. Dumps it in. Seattle's got possession of the puck. Gord's lugging the puck. And now he angles it across to Kidd. Couldn't connect on that pass. Slides the puck over. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And that one's turned away. Taken along the wall by Carrick. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Seattle's got a hold of the puck now. Here they come up along the wing. Goes full circle with the puck. He scores! They make it another. They don't slow down. You get one, you get two. Man, his teammate could get rich with passes like this. What a move that opens up everybody. And then he lays off in a simple one for him. This seems like sort of funky timing here, Ray, but they're going to switch goalies. I didn't see any signal from the goaltender that he needed to come out, but this is a quick switch. And it is at a bit of an odd time. Seattle's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been nonstop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. One minute left. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Anaheim's obviously not going to win every game this season.